Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I would like to show you an interesting application called Game Deck. It's free to download from the Google Play Store, and its job is to organize all of those games that you have installed on your phone into a clean yet familiar user interface. The application does have some in-app purchases, and we'll get to those later, but the app does run perfectly just the way it is without having to pay a cent. You'll only end up paying for microtransactions if you want to change up the appearance or add in some extra features to the app. I'll be sure to have the Google Play Store link to this application down in the video description below. And I'll put that in the pinned comment here as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. Now, once you open up the app for the first time, it should do a good job of scanning all the mobile games that you currently have installed. But with that said, this gaming launcher for Android is only going to list titles by default that you have installed from the Play Store. You can see it will display your emulators, but you're not going to be able to add specific ROMs for those emulators as individual game cards on their own. We've seen this feature in other game launchers on Android, but Game Deck is trying to keep things much simpler right now. If you do notice that a game is not being picked up by the app, you can manually add them by bringing up the Import Games feature. You'll find this by diving into the Options page from here, and then scrolling down to the import games option. This is also tucked away within the accessories menu in the preferences, but we'll get into that later. But with this option to import games manually, you can even add some non games to the launcher if you need to. You can see the app works really well with controllers as well, and it can even be set up as your default home screen launcher for your device. That way, it will automatically boot up to this screen, and every time you tap on the home button, you'll be brought to this screen as well. A nice little feature for those who have a dedicated Android device for gaming. The only place where this app begins to fall apart for me is with its microtransactions but I do appreciate seeing the developer offer multiple ways of unlocking these extra features. So when we go into the accessories tab, you can see there are a few things to choose from. So here, you can see that we have access to some utilities down here, but in this top personalization section is where you can begin to change up this app. So for example, you can go in here and change the grid to a vertical scroll instead of horizontal. They even have a list layout as well. There are a couple of different dock types, modern and classic. You can change the position of that dock and you can change the alignment as well. We have the ability to adjust the size of the dock. And we can even choose to customize the wallpaper that it uses. There are some game cover shapes that we can choose from, from one to one aspect ratio squares to one to two, 16 by nine. And then we can choose between rounded or sharp game covers. You can see this is a demo because this is an in-app purchase. If you want to use any of these features, you must first buy this accessory. And you can do that by unlocking the lifetime license for only this feature, or you can pay a monthly fee and get access to all of those accessories. And there are a good amount of choices here. We have an edge lighting feature and a bunch of themes to choose from. 
Some are just different colors. Some have completely unique user interfaces. But each of these end up requiring a single in-app purchase to unlock that feature for a lifetime. Again, you do have the option for a monthly fee that you'll have to keep paying if you want to keep having access to that specific customization option. I'm not the biggest fan of piecing out all of these themes and features one by one in an attempt to get people to pay a monthly fee. Because as soon as you stop paying, no matter if you have only subscribed for one month or you've been subscribed for 24 months, you'll immediately lose access to all of those unlocks when you stop paying for that monthly fee. I prefer the lifetime unlock option even if it would cost more in the short term, because this method gives you the ability to unlock the important custom appearance accessory from here. And you can also pick out one or two themes that you like the most. But that's all I can show you here today. If you're someone who likes to play a lot of games on your phone, then you should install this app just to see how it fits into your routine. It seems to be optimized rather well, so it shouldn't eat into your RAM usage too much, while also giving you a familiar dashboard to organize and style all of your mobile games. Now, let me hear what you think about this app down in the video description below. And before I let you go, let me say thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. And if you're looking for that next hidden gem mobile game for Android, you should check out a personal project of mine. It's a website called playstorefinder.com, and it's a great place to discover new games by first diving into a category or genre that you like, and then using the filter system that I have personally developed to weed out those games with ads if you're not a fan of seeing those. Or you can use the filter system to only display games that cost money. Or to only display games that do not have any in-app purchases. Or both. Please explore through the website and tell me what you think. And do not forget to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel for more Android gaming tips like this.